once you've got all of your drawings loaded up onto Buzzsaw, a common thing that project uh, teams like to do is to uh, review drawings and and um, make comments or share comments about uh, design concerns. Um, when you're storing your your files electronically, this can be be done in an electronic process versus a paper process in a very easy way. So once the drawings are up on Buzzsaw, in order to create a comment or or share a comment with another project team member, um, all all that's required is to simply select the the, the drawing that you want to comment on. And I'm going to go ahead and, and right click and select from my from my pop up here. I'll select my view and window option. And and what this does is this gives me my my drawing in a, a separate window and allows me to view full screen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and and expand this to full screen. And you'll notice that I've I've already got a few comments on this particular drawing here. Okay, and I can use my zoom window to zoom in to these comments. I can also uh, uh, create new comments, okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and, and pan to a different portion of the drawing here, and um, I'll go ahead and use my uh, my uh, create markup drop down. And this create markup drop down has a number of options that that I can use. This A here is a is a text option, and this allows me to create a rectangle, and then just start typing text within this rectangle. Okay, so our comment here might be something uh, that has to do with this uh, landscape area. So we might say something like this setback needs to be 25 feet deep. Now you can take this text and, and you can make it larger or smaller. So this is coming out a little bit small here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and, and, and make it larger. We'll give it a, a 20 point. And I'll go ahead and and uh, resize my dialogue here so that so that it makes uh, sense and so that it fits. I just simply do this by selecting the grips on the rectangle, and then I can select this and I can actually move it as well. I just get to the border, okay, and I can move this text to a place where it, it uh, where it uh, can can go and be easily read. Now, if you want to edit this text, just simply double click inside and and the system will let you edit it as well. So I've got a bit of a, a, a grammatical error here. I need to add a space. And so I just double click and I'm able to edit that text. Another type of markup that we can place on the drawings is, is this uh, uh, cloud markup. And the cloud markup, I'm going to select just the, a rectangular option here. Okay, and what this allows me to do is to drag a rectangle around um, a, a, a drawing, uh, a space in a space on a drawing, and then I can um, uh, select where I want my leader location, and then start typing in my my comment. Okay, so maybe I'm I'm going to um, say, give this the same comment, but in this case I'm typing it inside this uh, this leader cloud. And again, you can come in here and adjust the um, uh, size of the text as needed just by using this uh, this A drop down here in the toolbar. And this is the change text size um, tool. Now, you can imagine once you've got these markups on your page, okay, and you zoom back out to the extents of the drawing, um, you can imagine that it's it's from this view electronically, it can be very difficult to catch every markup that's been placed on this page. And so if you hit your your uh, show hide na navigator in your toolbar here, okay, the system will actually present you with what we call a, a, a navigator side screen. Okay, and this navigator side screen gives you the ability to um, peruse your markups one by one. Okay, so in this in this markup area here, we 
we it the system will list all of the markups that that are on this page all the electronic markups okay and so if we go f uh, for select a markup what the system does for us is it highlights that markup on the page here and if the markup was created um, at, at, with a, a level or where we were zoomed in the system will actually zoom into that markup for you Okay, so you've got uh, essentially a punch list of markups that you can go through so that you're, you're not at risk of missing a markup. Okay, and here's my uh, setback comments that I just created. And notice as I select these in the punch list, they're highlighted out here. Now, another thing that you can do with your markups is you can set a status. Okay, so down below here, we've got this uh, properties and its status. And so I've got this setback markup, okay? I could set this to, as a, to a status of review or for review. And notice it will highlight this in a different color. I could change the status to a question or I could mark this as a comment that's been completed or already addressed. And notice that the change in the uh, uh, comment color okay and also notice the icon next to the comment changes when you change the status so you get a question mark here for questions and you get a, 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 a little circular arrow for review so this is a way that your your design teams can uh, share comments directly on drawings with each other it tends to be uh, much much um, more efficient because once you once you're ready to actually send these comments to a uh, to a project team member all that's required is to simply hit the save as button you could give your uh, your markup comments a name so we'll call this uh, this is Mike's comments and I'm in the engineering department so we'll go engineering now you've got a, uh, an add comment um, uh, option here. I'm going to go ahead and skip that because my comments are directly on the drawings. And I'll go right to the send email. And then again here we have a list of all the project team participants. So I can send this email to uh, my plan reviewer group. So this is going to go, if I expand this group, this is going to go to all of the uh, all of these users within this group, so I don't have to add them individually. I can create groups and and just select the group, and then I'm going to go ahead and type in a subject for the email. We'll call this uh, site plan comments, and I'll tell the team to please review, and we'll just leave it at that. So when I hit finish, what the system does is it creates a separate markup file. Okay, this markup file is saved away from the original drawing. This is important because we don't want to uh, clutter the original drawing with all our markups. So what we do is we create a, a, a separate, complete separate file. Okay, and the file is automatically stored in the markups tab. Uh, you'll notice that. Um, the file that I just created, Mike's Engineering Comments, is, is, is stored here. And the email that goes out to all of the, the project team will, will contain a link that will bring them all back to this file. Okay, so all they simply do is click on that link, and then it brings them to this file here. They can um, open this, view it in window, in its own window. And I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, full screen again. And then they can go ahead and, and hit this uh, uh, show navigator. And then here are all their markups that we just saved. So they can peruse and come through these markups. Okay, they can change the status if that's a requirement. So a much easier way and a much more uh, a much quicker way to uh, mark up files and uh, share share markup comments with your uh, with your other design team members.